up here, look at look at how much this further of penetration we're missing. Okay, remember we talked about a, uh, a takedown is what? Almost a millisecond. How, how far is it going to take you to cover up that much distance? You know what that means? That means we're going to be extended. Then we're going to have to put our face on the mat and hurt our shoulders. Jump, look. See my penetration? We got far. Here. I'm going to jump. Let's see. Ah. Look at how much further I got. Okay? Concentrate on that first big step going down the middle. Couple more times. One, two, three. That's so close. Right? And then what do we do? We try to hold on and your face goes down, the guy goes behind us. Okay? Shoulders have to stay square. Shoulders are square. Can I jump through this guy's leg? Are my shoulders square? Mm -hmm. I'm not turning them. Mm -hmm. Shoulders are square. My shoulders are still square. Okay? Push. Alright, let's go. One, two, three, four. Wham! Turn around. There. I get one step to hop over. Anybody can. Take four steps, right, and jump. So after I explode, I'm down right here. One step, you explode. So that's the Okay, that's how I'm see someone now. So it's the same thing. One step, explode over. Okay? I'm not going to get that. I don't want to lose the no hammy yet, boys. Uh -huh. Alright, explode. 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 That was bad. Explode. One step, explode. Understand? Good position, turn around, one step, roll. Okay? Pierce it. Hey, be a good dummy man. When I jump on coach, be. No, it's not that hard. Just stay strong. Hands on your knees, be strong. Okay? Question. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Right? And your face is licking the mat. All right? Here's my little story about licking the mat, real quick. <laughs> How many of you guys, and I saw it this morning, so it's a good story. Coach said, hey, go around the corner to the bathroom, right? How many of you guys wear your wrestling shoes? Went outside. Went into the bathroom. How many of you went in there? Right? Raise your hand. We've all done it. Go to the tournament. We're all going there. Sometimes everything you're trying to get in the toilet doesn't make it into the toilet, right? <laughs> we've all done that, right? <laughs> Then we've all stood in it, right? Then we've we'll all ran back in there and shook the guy's hand and wrestled. What's on the bottom of your shoes? <laughs> yeah, not a lot of stuff that's supposed to go to the waist, right? That's why we cut weight. So now, he just went to the bathroom, he sat in it, he stood, wiped it on, and I shoot and put my face in it. It's pretty nasty, right? right that's right. It's funny and it's nasty. <laughs> and it's nasty. So really, next time you get your face in the mat, think about that story about really what you're kissing and licking and getting all over your forehead. <laughs> all right? I know it's a little gross, but it's help. It's help. All right? Motivation. So motivation <laughs> to take a good shot, not lick the mat. That's what I call licking the mat. All right. So now, good square stance. How do I get them out of the stance? Push pull. Push pull. Basically, uh, more general, I want to move the guy. Right? I want to move. Push, pull, pull in a circle. We just don't want an attack, guys. I just don't want to try to shoot, you know, his head hits me in the face, his arms in the way, and then my head's in the mat, uh, licking the mat. Okay? So, set up. Move the mat. Best drill I know. Okay? Best drill that we do, and, I, and it's really translated to me. When I was with Pete, he didn't move the guy and get no guy's legs really easy. All I do, collar tie up. And one point, we're not going to go over less than collar tie ups except one main point. I put my cop, my forearm on his what? It's called a collar tie-up. On his what? Collar, collar bone. <laughs> forearm on his collar bone, and I grab whatever I can grab. You don't have to grab all the way over here, because if I do, what happens to my elbow? Way up in the air. Collar, bone. So now I have a block. If each took a shot, I have a block. Understand? Then I grab his head, and it's always a downward pressure. Understand that? Dummy man's going to grab both my elbows, okay, or right there, I don't care. This hand is inside, it slides to his tricep, and all I'm going to do is pull his ear to his bicep. How do I do that? I crunch. I see this a lot, too. Don't push. Number one, if he just picks my elbow up, I'm getting taken down. 
Number two, he's, yeah, he's pretty strong. I'm not strong enough to push his ear for the bicep. Okay, then you look like your knucklehead in that one. Right? That's not wrestling. Here, forearms in his collarbone. I'm going to put his ear to his bicep. Crunch. Crunch. Now I open my hip, try to pull him in a circle. One big step. Oh, run it. Step, and then run my hip. Look at that. Look how I can pull. You see how I'm pulling underneath me? Now, once I do it once, I kind of let his head come up. I leave a little low tap. Boom. As you can hear, hurt. Ear to this one. Big step, run my hip. Change the other way. Change the other way. Change the other way. You ever understand? Am I moving the man? I'm breaking his balance. It's called a steering wheel drill. He's being a great partner. Why? Want me to show you a bad partner? Bad partner? You move him and he, and he falls down. He falls down. I'm not getting anything out of that. Hold my arms and I move. Because in a match, you think he's just going to fall down? No. He would have been teaching that. Oh, hold on. Woo, two points. <laughs> right? It ain't, it's not going to happen. Move, 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 move. This is the key that I'm going to emphasize. There's a, a lot of pressure down. It's down. It's down as well. Doesn't get good. Question. Question. Be a good partner. One, two, three. Great. On forehead to forehead when you're moving them, so you can move them both ways. Okay? All right, let's go. One, two, three. Just drill. All I'm going to do is do our steering wheel drill. Okay? All I'm going to do is do our steering wheel drill. Move them once. Now I'm going to move them twice. Now I'm going to lower my level. And I'm going to jump through his legs, get up, and shove. Okay? Guys, this drill right here helps so much on your timing, on your confidence to shoot. So when I get in a real match and I get I move this guy, I'm, I'm ready to explode and get my back. Okay? Because I've done this drill 10,000 times, then I know once I get this guy out of position, it's there. Okay? So it's just, it's helping my confidence and it's helping me understand that my, where my timing is. Wrestling's a lot about timing, right? So when I move him once, I move him twice, slowly level, jump all the way through, step, shot. In a real match, you know, move him once. Boom, twice, throw my level, boom, jump through, shoulder hit first, then my knee, and then I get to my finish. So it's a timing drill and a confidence drill. Putting the two drills together. Everybody understand? All right, let's go give it a try. One, two, three. Off of this, and we'll get to this later in camp, I can also pull the guy down here, okay? And when I'll show you a little later when we get to do a move, I'll move him once, and I'll move him twice, and his hips are so far back that he's defending me. See this? See how his hips are back? All I would do here is slide my hand, pull this guy down, and I would run down his butt, okay? So, what's gonna happen now is, is I'm gonna pull, pull. When I go to pull, I'm gonna spread my legs, and he's gonna penetrate through my legs, okay? So I'm moving him once. I move him twice. Now, I'm gonna slide my hand to his uh, armpit, so I've got both armpits, and I'm gonna pull down. He's gonna shoot me through my legs. Get up and shuffle. So everybody see that? So both guys are getting better here. Pull once, pull twice, pull down, he goes through my legs. Everybody understand? Can you do it one more time? Absolutely. So here, moving. Same drill, steering wheel drill. Boom, practicing my steering wheel drill. Now I'm going to slide my hand from his head, straight to his armpits. I've got both fingers in his armpits. Good pulling position. Spread your legs a little bit. Pull, he's going to penetrate hard through your legs. Look at how far he was. Great penetration. Okay? Questions? All right, let's go. One, two, three. Good job, good job. Let's go, let's go. Now, if I stand straight up, I'm getting blasted, right? So here's the deal. Guy collar ties me, and that's why I tell you to grab his elbows. See how I grab his elbows? I grab his elbows, so now you're comfortable with grabbing them. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these and I pull them in. Try to put my head on his chest. How's that feel? He doesn't like it at all. He's got really no power. Now, if I feel him starting to move me a little bit, I just move my feet into him. I've got control of him. See this? Don't just grab him. If I grab him, he'll throw me all over the world. He'll throw me all over the world. But when I grab him, notice I grab him. I grab him. What do I do? I pull him. See this? 
I mean, tell them how much power that takes away from me. Okay, so I grab them, thumbs outside. Can't let a guy pull it. I'll tell you what, anybody ever watch Iowa wrestling, University of Iowa? Yeah. What do they do to people? Bang them, push them, and beat them up from this collar tie and under a position. Well, I wrestled at Iowa State, coached at Iowa State for 10 years. So we got to figure out a way of not getting our head pulled down and getting embarrassed. So here's what we did. I pulled him in. And you know what he did? He pulls him, he starts pulling me around. I just start running my feet. Right? So I start running my feet, putting my head on his chest. What happens? He's going to quit collar tying me now. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's not all about offense. It's about counteracting what he does. All right? So real quick, tell me, man, I want you to try to move this guy, other guy. Grab, look how I grab. I mean, sometimes not at his elbow, sometimes it's at whatever. Whatever you can grab from here to here. Grab it, now here's the key. Hang on, hang on. Here's the key. Grab it and pull. And put your head on his chest. Get those feet going. So he starts moving, get those feet going. Everybody see it? All right, so give it a whirl. One, two, three. Come on, this is good right here. leg comes forward. Here, my head. I try to headbutt my knee. Okay, so I go here, I try to headbutt my knee. Let, now I'm gonna pull this under and this one comes off my head. And I circle. Understand? So I get this guy off my head. I don't wanna wrestle six minutes like this. I don't wanna wrestle six minutes. You know what I mean? He's controlling the title. I can't shoot, it's, you know, he's pulling me around. Circle. I got both elbows. He's trying to pull me around. I got him tight. Your lead leg comes first. Now I'm gonna try to headbutt my knee. Don't try to take it off like this, guy. Don't try to do that. If I do this, watch. If I just take it off like this, this hand's still gonna club me now. You know, I'm gonna, and then we're getting thrown around the mat. Here I go. I'm trying to put this hand on the mat. Palm down as I circle. Lead leg goes forward. Try to put the hand down as I circle. He'll circle out, and there I go, I'm clear. Understand? You just gotta be tight. Try to pull myself out. Circle. Try to keep hold of this. Try to keep hold of this. See what I'm doing? Still the same thing. Lead leg, hand down. Okay? Questions? All right, let's go. One, two, three. The kid is the same one. Let's go to this side because most of you guys are going to be getting collar tied with the right hand. Right hand, this guy collar tied. All I'm doing, it's the same drill. I've got both elbows. I pulled them in. Okay, now, leg forward. My right, if he's tied up over here, my right leg comes forward. See my hands? My hands are grabbing like this. All I'm going to do is bend down. I bow down. Bow. I bow down. Look, look, look. I didn't do anything yet, and what happened? Off. It came off. I just bow my head straight down. See that? Bow your head to your knee. That's why I say head butt your knee. Now some of you flexible guys can probably do it. I can't touch it. So mm -hmm. bow straight, put your head straight down. Boom. Now, I still have his elbow. Don't let go. Try to put it on the mat as I start circling to get an angle. So it's very, very simple. Leg forward, bow down, hand to the mat. Understand? But you gotta grab the elbows correctly. Here. What's that? You got it? You got it? Hey, Chris. You good? You understand? Here. My head's in good position. First thing I do, forward my leg. Bow down. Put the hand on the back. Circle. Questions? Okay, let's go give it one more try. Yeah. One, two, three. He kind of knows I'm putting it down. He's holding on me. I try to push these elbows together. What do you think he's going to do? He's going to probably get him out because this is uncomfortable. It's crap. It's really uncomfortable. When he decides to pull it out, I take it with me. And all I'm going to do is step down the middle like we've been doing all day. Step down the middle, throw it over my head, and where am I? I see. My crotch, shoulder on his thigh. That'll be our theme here in a minute. Shoulder on his thigh. I don't care if you do the side crotch right yet. I just want you to be able to take that off your head. We'll go through all that leg attack stuff here in a minute. 
But I'm here. Oh, I put these together. I put them together. He doesn't like them. Pressure them, they come out. Here I go. Big step. Ah. Throw it off of me. See how I threw it off of me? Shoulders are square. Chest is on his thigh. Just stop right here. Okay, I don't want you going further. Shoulders, elbows together. Get the elbows together. When he decides to pull them out, you get the momentum right with him. So simple. Look at the position I'm in. It would be so easy to get up and get through it. Okay, one more time. Get these elbows together. Pull one out. Step. Watch. Throw it over me. Square your shoulders back up. Butt off my heels. Okay? Press. Okay, let's give it a try. One, two, three. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to point. When I point to it, I want him to take his leg back as far as he can. And I'm going to jump to his leg. I'm going to jump to his leg and throw my hand. So I'm not going to point to it. I jump to it. My ear goes to his hip. It's all about throwing your hand. Get higher. I want it way back there. It does, if you think about it, it gives you like that there. If I just hit the normal penetration step, where am I? I'm really reaching. Right? Look at that. I'm going to be in a real bad position. But if I can learn to throw my hands, did it? Throw my hands and jump. Boom. See how much deeper I can get? Okay. So I'm going to point. Your momentum will pull you up by throwing your hands. Rule number one, don't be below the knee. Rule number two, keep your hands locked. I see this all the time, everywhere I go. Everybody wants to do this. Why, I have no idea. He just grabs my hand and puts his foot down. What happens? You know how hard it is to get to a guy's leg? It's hard. See, once you get there, you gotta do everything correct, okay? Sweat point. Boom! Where's my ear? Where's my chest? Thigh. A plus for you today. Chest is on the thigh. Okay, and I'm really worried about all I want you to throw your hands. Okay, little guys, you're gonna have trouble balancing. So all I'm gonna ask you to do is just bend over and put your hand on my shoulder. See that? Okay, if you can't balance. Don't pressure me down to where I can't do the move. You're just trying to hold your balance. It's just drill purposes only. Okay, I'm not in good position. Why? I'm locked. I'm locking my elbow, but I'm not in good position. Why? Where's my ear? Where's my ear? Oh, okay. Now I'm in good position. Okay, concentrate on your position. All right? Questions? Okay, this is the last drill. After this, we'll put the whole move together and shoot our the most perfect double leg we can shoot. All right? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Be a good one, When I was wrestling at the highest level, I was trying to make the Olympic teams and things like that. It was hard to score a point, let alone a takedown. And all of my coach would yell at me would be, do the drills, do the drills, focus on the drills. And you know what it did, guys? It opened up my opponent so I could score. You know what I mean? Come out and say, do the drills, do the drills. The first thing I think about was doing the steering wheel drill. You know, that opened you up. Then the guy with power time, so I couldn't just do the drill, just put the hand down. And it opened them up. And, and then I just thought about concentrating on getting through the legs. And then I concentrated on throwing my hands to the leg, and it opened up the guy so I could score. Okay? So here we go. Concentrate on the drills. First drill we did was what? What? First drill was what? Where did we put our head? On the floor. So first thing we do is concentrate on the drill. Then I'm going to come out, and the next step, not the next drill, but the next step is to move the guy. So maybe I give him, grab that make grab those. Maybe I just give him a steering wheel drill. Now, I've got to step deep to penetrate. That was this drill, right? And I've got to lower my level at the same time, which was what? Shooting between his legs, okay? And then I've got to throw my hand, which was the very last drill we did, okay? So put them all together. Move them, sorry, forehead to forehead. Move them, I move them again now. Head on his head so he stands up. Now here's what I want you to understand. Step, shoulder hits. 
but I hit my knee yet. Now, I'm in such a split position that now I try to not walk, but it fell down, which is a good thing. But after I hit, I try to my knee to get my back straight. Okay, now remember our step up drill? Step up, draw a line, and I go through my knee. Okay, now I'm going to again drive my knee, and shuffle him down. Okay? Everybody understand? There's a lot of technique involved in shooting a good double leg. Okay? Move him once. Move him twice. I'm standing. Comes up. Do it slow. He comes up. He comes up. I go down. Big step, shoulder hits. Now I drive to my knee to get in good position. See my back straight, my butt off my heels. Step up. He's already, you're almost already falling down, huh? because I'm so deep and I'm in such good position, okay? Mistakes are this. When I move the gun, instead of sorry, I go to my knee, and then I reach. See the reach? See there's no distance? My chest is not on his thigh, right? Mm -hmm. But when I hit shoulder first and drive, where's my shoulder? On his thigh. There's no, there's no sprawl. There's no sprawl. Understand? Okay, that's the man. You get nothing out of this session, nothing out of this camp. Understand just that. When I hit my knee, I gotta reach. Now, can you score here? Yeah, I gotta crawl, I gotta crawl, I've gotta get, you know, I've gotta work hard. I've gotta work hard. Okay? Knee hits, I reach the gloves face. Shoulder hits, and I drive to my knee. Place. Very, very hard for this guy. My head's all the way through. You know, very hard for him to stuff my head. Very hard. Understand that. But you see what he had to do to stuff my head? What happened? Okay, he his leg back. Well, my chest is on his thigh. There's no way he's getting his leg back, so there's no way if I stay strong, there's no way. Get up, shuffle him down. So, better stand. Okay, so one more time. I come out, I go, well, there's a forehead. Steering wheel drill, move him once, move him twice. I'm heavy, I'm heavy, he stands up. Boom, step, shoulder hits. Now I just drive straight to my knee. Here's the key. Oh, back straight, look at that. And I stepped up, toe to knees. My toe in line with my knee, and I'm in a good position. It's over, guys, this is it. Now remember, if I'm not in good position, look, remember I told you if your foot's up here? I can't stand up. Remember I told you if your foot's too close, if he hips into me here, I got nothing to post. Okay? So there's a reason why I told you all the things I told you. Here I go. Sh uh, chest on thigh, toe to knee looks good, ready to roll, right? Now all we do, explode, jump over the guy. Remember we did the piggyback, or leapfrog? Right? Leapfrog, jump up. Do you understand? So for you all, you guys that thought I was crazy, go through those drills, like why are we doing this, why are we going on? Every drill has a reason. Do you have a question? You notice you're grabbing up around the, the rear, blocking hands there, is there any reason for not doing it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like I can control his hips. Okay. When I'm up here. Yeah. You know, when I get down here, you know what happens when I get down here? Okay, so, so I'm here. Yeah. Because, you know, when I start going here, what's it do to my position? See what I did to my position? When I go up here, it forces me to get big and strong. My chest is up. Uh, my hips are locked here. I feel like I can get my hips good. When I'm here, he gets exactly. And it breaks my position. That's a great question. It breaks my position. Instead of being here, back straight, head up. Mm -hmm. And he's already, see, he's, already, he's already starting to go. Yeah. When I get to his legs here, I may be able to get them together and be in here. Mm -hmm. But look at my position. You know, and you know what I'll do when he starts doing this, honestly, I get more comfortable to relock, so. Okay? Questions? All right, guys, let's put this all together. Let's give it a whirl. One, two, three. A couple minutes here. We'll, we'll uh, play a little game. Big tape, man. Uh, no prize at the end of it. Okay? Kirsten needs some beatings. Very, very, very. This is kind of an older group. It's a very small game. But it's not fun. All right? Mike and Charlie, you've seen it before. This game. So you guys should be the experts at it. 
Okay? No, really. Everybody knows how to play Simon Says? Yes. Yes? All right, this is called Bono Says. Bono Says. Okay? So basically, if I say Bono Says Job, what are you going to do? In place, if I say Bono Says Sprint, what are you going to do? Hop on one leg, what are you going to do? Yes, right out. You would have been out. You would have been out. Understand? Understand? If I say Bono Says Hit It, look. We'll be jogging. If I say Bono says hit it, you hit it, get back up, and you're jogging. Does everybody understand? Okay, we can jump on one leg, we can hit it, we can hop, uh, we sprint, jog, jumping jacks, all those things. Last person standing, I'll give you a t shirt or a pair of socks, whatever else. Uh, Ooh, whatever okay, you gotta hook me up with some socks, bruh.